Some people in Paxton aren't happy with the city council's decision to rezone two empty lots to make room for a new gas station. The city approved it at last week's meeting. WCI3's Jared Thomas explains why the mayor thinks it's the right move. Change is coming to this Paxton neighborhood. I don't. Uh... I don't think anybody realized how long I'd been living here. I think I'm the longest one in this whole block. Carol Johnson has been living on South Cherry Street for more than 30 years. Now she'll soon have to call a gas station her next door neighbor. Why do we need another gas station? There's four here for this little town. That's a little much. Cherry Street is right off a busier one, Ottawa Road. Mayor Bill Ingold says the gas station will go right on the residential street, taking the space of a former car wash. I worked on this for a year and a half. He says the city had been searching for a location for some time now. It estimates more than 6,000 people get off Interstate 57 every day to fill up in Paxton. But Johnson says it's something that's forced her to consider moving. You know, who would want a gas station in their yard? Just thinking about people off the interstate, all the trash, everything that, you know, is going to have to happen for it to be a gas station. Mayor Engel says the city did look at other locations to build an even bigger gas station, but couldn't secure a big enough space, but says it's still the right move. This is what we're about. We're trying to encourage as much economic development as we can in Paxton. But Johnson and others we spoke to off camera in the neighborhood say something else could have filled the empty lot to better the community. If they put a park here, would that be okay for you? A park? Mm -hmm. That would be better than a gas station. Reporting in Paxton, Jared Thomas, WCI3, your local news leader. The mayor says the station will have a convenience store, a quick service restaurant, and electrical vehicle charging. The city won't spend any money on the project. He says it'll come from real estate taxes. There's no timeline for the project just yet.